Hello everyone, welcome to MeanLab Studies. In this video, we are going to solve one more SQL problem as part of Data Analyst or Data Engineer interview preparation. You can see here that is question number 30. Convert the given input table to as expected output. You can see here we have uh, input table is given as items and this is the expected output. You can see here we have two columns that is item and item count, right? So in each item we have given different types of uh, items like ball, bat, gloves and wickets. Now you can see here in the second column this is a count of item. How many are there? That is balls are 2, bat are 4, gloves are 1, uh, wickets are 3, right? Now we need to convert this table into this format like ball as 1 and ball as 2, right? Next bat, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Like this we need to return, okay? Now we will start solving this problem in SSMS, okay? Now you can see here we have items table having item and item count for two columns and this is the data inserted into this table that is items table. These statements I have mentioned in the description box you can find from there okay. Now if I execute this query you can see here this is the table having item and item count are two columns right. Now in order to uh, extract as per our expected output uh, we will see this in uh, excel sheet. Now you can see here this is our input table and this is our output table right. So for each item we need to return for example here we have ball as count of item that is 2 then we need to return ball as 1 ball as 2 right. Similarly we need to return for all items right. So in reverse it is more easy right. So for example if it is the input table then we can easily convert to this table right. How we are going to count a uh, number of items for each item and then we will group by each item so that you will get this uh, this table only right but uh, our requirement is not that our requirement is to convert this table to this one how can we do this see here we have for each item and the number of item count so wherever item uh, comes in with a number we need to return from 2 and 1 right and here also you can see here bad as 4 but we need to return bad 1 2 3 4 so there is a sequence of numbers right now for example if you assume we have one more table as numbers right having a different sequence numbers like 1 2 3 4 right or 5 or whatever right i hope you have gone through our previous video where we have already uh, created a sequence table right sequence of numbers with a uh, recursive city right so now if you see here, if you assume you have a table like this, then we have this table and this table. Now is there any possibility that by using these two tables then we can retrieve this table, right? Now we'll see. So we have item and item count and these are numbers, just numbers, just assume we have a table, right? Now we will join these two tables on the basis of item count, right? We have ball and item count and this one. So if you join these two tables on the basis of item count equal to numbers, then what will happen? It will join ball 2 with this 2, right? I mean this 2, right? Now if you change the condition like whatever the value is uh, lower than this value, you have to join with those numbers. Then what it will return? It will return ball 2, ball and whatever the values are returned that will less than this number, right? That is 1 and 2 less than or, or equal to. So it will join with this one, this row with this row first and then this row with this row, right? So you, we are retrieving whatever we require like item and their numbers, right? So it will return 2 and 1. If you, if you put a condition like item count is greater than or equal to numbers. So you are joining these two tables on the basis of item count is greater than or equal to this one. So that you will be joining equal values like that is 2 and 2 and then 2 and 1 right for example here for that how can you join you are going to join these two on the basis of item count is greater than or equal to numbers so it will join with 4 equal to 4 i mean 4 equal to 4 this one and this one right and again this 4 is greater than or equal to 3 right so this one will be joined next 4 is greater than or equal to 2 right so this one also will join 4 is greater than or equal to 4 right so you are retrieving bad with all numbers that is 1 2 3 4 Similarly, we can get for remaining two also, okay? Now, tell me, how can we uh, retrieve this table? In our previous video, we have already uh, seen, right? How we are going to retrieve or how we are going to extract a sequence of numbers by using recursive CTA, okay? Now, we will solve this problem in SSMS, okay? 
now you can see here this is our table now our requirement is to find our uh, need to extract a table having a sequence of numbers right that's what we have seen city as before that we need to assign this as city okay i mean this item table i'm going to assign this as city now if you see self start from city city you will get this table only right okay now our requirement is to create a, a table with having a sequence of numbers so for that i'm going to uh, use another city city2 as what i have to return i have to return the sequence of numbers so i need to use select one as number okay i need to use union of and then what is this this is the anchor query right that will be assigned or initially initialize the variable that is numbers as one anchor query now we need to uh, raise a recursive query right that has to be start from or incremented from the given numbers to by one right selecting numbers and increment by one from which one from same cd2 right and that's where we we call this as recursive query right so this is the same cd that we are using here right so this is a recursive query now tell me if i leave alone what it will happen it will retrieve i mean it will be uh, recursive up to infinite times right iterative through infinite times so we need to end this condition right where we need to ensure that numbers has to be less than something a number right what is that number this number is nothing but selecting maximum of item count from items only right so that we will be uh, retrieving up to the values of the maximum count what is the maximum count in item count that is four so we will be having a sequence of numbers up to four one two three four right okay now if execute entire query what is there uh, we need to uh, close this bracket right that is cd2 bracket and then if you execute this query you can see here we, we are getting a group by having a something error right this means we cannot use uh, this aggregate function in recursive statements that's what it is saying right so we are not going to use here this statement for that we need to assign a variables before i'm going to declare a variable uh, we are going to assign any variable with uh, the rate symbol okay that is count as integer and then i'm going to select that count value select whether it count is equals to what is this this is the maximum of item count from items list right now i should not use here this entire query okay because of this is aggregate so we already have assigned a value that is count so we will use this as count now we already assigned this count as maximum of item count right now if you execute this queries you can see here successfully executed right so we assigned a variable count as integer and we uh, declared and assigned a value that is to maximum of item count right now if you execute this entire query again you will get some errors you can see here we are getting again error incorrect syntax near cid right so whenever you are uh, declaring a variables you need to ensure that it is separated by colons so that it will be different right now even though if you separated by things uh, these declare variables if you execute only this statement it won't execute it will return again errors right because of this count is already here we are using but without initializing it right so we need to ensure that we should execute all these queries and we should place these uh, columns so that we will be separating this and this statements right now if execute entire query again getting error what is this so here uh, we are missing a bracket we need to uh, close this bracket right and then now if you execute this query you can see here we are getting a series of numbers this is from ct to right if you use ct what it will return it will return a given table right that is wall bad this is our given table okay now if you remember here we have two tables that is ct2 and ct1 ct right ct is our given table ct2 is as a, a sequence of numbers right now we are going to retrieve from ct ct means this table from ct i am going to assign this ct as c dot 
what I have to return, I have to return item, right? And then what I have to return from CT2, CT2 is nothing but a sequence of numbers only, right? So from CT2, I need to return a number, right? Numbers from CTEC, I'm going to assign CT as C, join CT2 as the CT2 as C2, right? On which, on which condition? That is, in CT table, we have item count. In CT table, 2 table, we have numbers, right? So we need to ensure that C dot item count has to be greater than or equal to C2 dot numbers, right? Now, if you join on this basis, you will be getting, see here, you are retrieving item and then another from another table, that is sequence table, you are retrieving all numbers, right? How you are going to join? This count always greater than or equal to these numbers, right? So for each ball, you will get two and you in the second table, that is sequence table, you will join with two and also you are using greater than or equal to. So two is equal to two and two greater than or equal to one, right? So it will join for all uh, less than of two, okay? Now, if you execute this query, you can see here, you are getting ball one, next bad one like this, right? All values, but we will order it in order by item, okay, comma, numbers. Now, if you execute this query, you can see here, see here, we are getting ball 1, ball 2, bat 1, bat 2, bat 3, bat 4, gloves 1, wickets 1, wickets 2, and then wickets 3, right? This is our expected output, right? Okay, see here, we have a given table and we need to raise a sequence of table that is a temporary table. It won't store in anywhere, right? Okay. And then we need to join on the basis of item count is greater than or equal to those numbers so that it will be joining on the basis of uh, our item count is greater than, right? So whatever the values are less than that count, it will be joined, right? Then whatever values we re return, required to return, those values we return. Okay. I hope you understand this problem. Okay. And comment down your way of solution for this problem. Okay. Don't forget to like and share. Thank you.